I'm Janie C. Wood, and I'm from a High Point, North Carolina, and I, I, have li I lived there for a number of years before I moved, and I, I have one daughter, Laurel Jones. I moved to Alabama, and I stayed there for the last 30 years before coming this way. While I was in Alabama, I was religious. I was a religious person. I went to church every Sunday and Wednesday. I went to work every day. I sang in the church choir, the community choir, and all that good stuff. I also went to the clubs at night, and uh, on Sunday evening after church, I go to the club again. And I got to the point that going to the club wasn't satisfying, so I decided I started drinking at home rather than go out. So I would drink and I got to the point the last five to seven years that it was like uh, two gallons in a week. And I was spending more money on alcohol than I was on food and everything else. And I lost weight down to um, about 130 pounds. And then um, one night I just got sick. I felt bad. I didn't know what was wrong, but I felt like something, somebody else needed to see this. So I asked, the girl was coming to take me to the church. So before going to church, I said, I need to go to the hospital. Will you please take me? She said, well, why don't we go now? So at that point, she took me to the hospital. And um, while I was there, she called my daughter, Laurel, Laurel Jones. and. Um, the next day she came down. But at the hospital, they found that I had a, a blood clot in my leg. And when Laura got there, they said she's got a blood clot in her leg, but I don't know what else is wrong with her. We just let her lay there until, you, and until we find out. And at that point, Laura said, we going, we gonna pick you up from here and we going to, to Maryland. I said, why? She said, every time I call you, you say you all right, you okay, but you are not all right and you're not okay. So that's when we went to Maryland. When I got to Maryland and uh, I went to the hospital, I had doctors after doctor after doctor going through and making tests and all that. And they said that they had found uh, cancer they thought and I was at the church and Bishop was there I asked him I said will you pray for me because I they get they I got a blood clot and they say they think they found cancer but will you pray for me and he stopped whatever he was doing right then right there and pray for me and that gave me that slapped me in the face because normally when you ask somebody to pray for you, they say, okay, I will. But then he stopped, and that had an impact on my mind. After Bishop prayed for me, I went back to the doctor, and he, they said, oh, we don't see anything. But I tell you one thing, if you ever put alcohol in your mouth again, you can dig your own grave. Then the uh, uh, grace message came. I don't know, he was, I was listening, but when he started the grace message, that's when it slapped me in the face. I was listening and it slapped me in the face so hard. It's like, you've been believing this all your life. Why are you just not learning it? I listened to him and I started reading. And I said, oh my God. And then I had a renewing of the man. That's when it started. It really started working, working, working. And I started praying. And, uh, and my daughter was praying with me and for me. And that's when the, um, and the uh, alcohol we didn't have anymore because we were listening. We were praying together. And she was praying for me. That's since 2010. 2010, and but on, now I'm not a saint because I kept smoking. And December 2015 is when I threw that away. I, in in my life, 
Had you known me then, you would not like me. I loved me, but you would not like me. God is a good God, and he makes everything change. And I don't know where things are coming from. I don't know how my car is paid for, new tires on the car, everything is going. And at the, at a, the doctor's office, I'd have had three years with no payment for medicine, no doctor's visits, no nothing. It had to be God. Only He could do that kind of stuff. That's just me. I'm Janie Wood with a big smile, and God loves me to death. He loves me because I am as Jesus is to Him.